and you're doing. Uh, as requested, I've made a little bit of progress on the river scene, so I'll come back to paint this out. Um, I've actually used my own concoction of brown poster paint and uh, tile grout, the brown tile grout that's created these sort of lumps and bumps. Used a bit of green, dark brown, a bit of black in the middle uh, to kind of create that depth. I hope that's coming out okay on the camera. I think it looks okay from here. Um, I think so. Originally, I had this as kind of a bit of a stream, um, but as I've been doing the paint here and kind of looking at the, the landform, I'm actually thinking that this probably, if I'm doing the fill, I'll actually fill up to about here. So it's actually a wide stream going through the bridge or wide river going through the bridge. Um, you can see sort of the undulations there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know on that one whether that will look better or whether it'll be better as a stream, uh, you know, with sort of foliage on, on the side. I'm going to look at some pictures online and see if I can make up my mind. But any comments, any ideas um, you might want to add there, uh, feel free. Because I already did this uh, face here, I'm kind of left with the shape that I've created here. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, thoughts would be, be welcomed. Um, other updates, I come back from holiday, so haven't progressed anything other than other than this really. Um, I think last time around I was talking about this power thing. Thanks guys for your comments. This um, this fish plate here potentially might get a snip in order to break the uh, connection between uh, what's basically happening. I'm pretty sure this point here is uh, is one of the dodgy Hornby ones. I was looking up on a Hornby forum um, that was saying there was a batch of Hornby points that had a broken uh, connection. Um, I think somewhere somewhere in here there's like a little um there's, there's a miss up mix up on some of the batches uh, i can't remember exactly where it was actually uh, yeah i think it's in here so the the you know, it doesn't matter whether or not i set set it straight or or not um you end up with power going into this this other section so the both of these lines are essentially powered um at all times which you know if it was dcc it would make complete sense but um yeah, because I'm DC, it creates a bit of a problem. Where I've, uh, it's quite good and it's quite bad. I've got trains that can run, uh, you know, side by side. It looks looks okay. It's not what I wanted. So what I was trying to do was get um, to a point where I could create a switch. So if you saw my other video, I was going to use a switch to essentially isolate this uh, part of the track or turn it on. So whilst if this was all straight across, which it is now, this theoretically, well, not theoretically, it shouldn't be powered. So with it not being powered uh, and, and then having a switch here, we then power this whole straight. Um, but again, I think I've got a dodgy point, either this one or this one. Again, it was creating power. So when I did my uh, multimeter tests, I, th I think power's flowing through here and through here regardless so um i'll find out so i'm gonna uh snip i think if i if i really get fed up with it before i do any more sort of ballasting on on here uh, so i'll probably leave this station now for a while because of this problem until i kind of get my head around what i want to do um so thanks for the votes for those that you voted i will get to do my resin pour on this bridge and get that done uh, I'll probably then move over to, oh yeah, a little bit of an update. Uh, I don't know if I'll put the video out before or after, but I've painted, I've used my um, airbrush to paint the grass, which was created using a uh, hanging basket liner. Um, so it, it's very green at the moment, obviously. Um, this is still stuck. I've stuck this down again to try to do some of the bold patches. It worked okay. It's not as quick, I don't think, as just doing static grass, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I don't think it looks that great the way I've done it so far. But obviously, if I add more colours to it, uh, it should improve things a bit. But you see the, 
modelers doing it all the time. So uh, I don't know, maybe it's just because I haven't learned a technique or I just need more practice, but getting it down, waiting to, to glue it, um, then waiting for it to set, pulling it up, having to use a shaver to shave it or cut it even with um, scissors, all this sort of stuff. Again, I'm, I'm stuck here now. I can't put this anywhere. If this was static grass, it'd be done by now. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not overly fond of that approach. It's, it's a bit time consuming. Would it have looked better if I just left it? Probably if I was doing like a, a burnt summer green, but well, actually it wasn't. It was kind of like a dull beige. So no, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's okay. I probably won't do it again. Um, but for those of you that do that, any tips would be helpful, of course. Um, and you've obviously got more patience than I have. Uh, so that's going to then go back up on here. Then I'll refit the fascia to that, and then I'll probably just uh, get that all sort of scenic up at some stage next. That's it for now. See you later. Bye.